Did you know that the amount of light and darkness that we're exposed to can alter blood sugar levels, lead to weight gain and affect our overall performance? Hi, I'm Ian Tennant. Can you guess what the link is between this Newton's cradle, this mobile phone and your well-being? Well, the pendulum-like rhythms in this cradle represent the pendulum-like interconnected rhythms inside our body and in the world around us. It's well known we're at our healthiest when our body's rhythms are nicely synced up with the rhythms that have surrounded us for millennia. One of the strongest signals from our environment is that of light and darkness. It has a potent effect on our body and influences the daily rise and fall of hormones. And this phone? This represents signals from modern day living and technology that can throw our internal rhythms off kilter. A small cluster of cells in your brain receives information about the light around you and instructs other clocks and rhythms in your body. Did you know that our eyes are not the only places that detect light? We also have light sensors in our skin. It's well established that too much artificial light at night, the sort that's emitted from this mobile phone and often referred to as blue light, can alter our blood sugar levels, lead to weight gain, it affects how alert we feel during the day and how sleepy we feel at night. The same is true if we don't get enough natural daylight during the day. Even the new bright LED streetlights that are being installed in many cities have been linked to certain types of cancers that have a strong hormonal influence, like breast cancer and prostate cancer. Here's one thing we can do to combat this challenge of modern day living. Simply imagine what it was like before we had so much artificial light at night and so spent so much time indoors and try to recreate that situation as closely as possible. Dim the lights at night, install blue light filters on phones and other flat screen devices and wear blue light block blocking glasses when watching TV. The other side of the equation is getting as much natural sunlight during the day as possible. On your way to work is ideal, it's a nice wake up call and having a nice stroll during your lunch break exposing as much of your skin as possible to daylight. These things will keep your body clock nice and happy. That's all from me today. I've put a couple of links below. The first is an excellent book by a researcher into body clocks. And the second is a link to the study I mentioned about cancer and street lighting that was done by Exeter and Barcelona University. Please do like my Facebook page for more health information and for updates about my upcoming book called Restoring Balance that's out this autumn. Thank you.